Hi there, welcome to the latest installment from Epic Sports TV. We've got a fantastic show coming up for you. We on May Day attended the NIBFA's Cup Final Day at the Joy Dunlop Leisure Centre up in Palamone. We feature today those 16 teams who made it all the way to the final for the first time ever. We will show you the smaller side format, the nine aside game between the teams in the under 11 cup finals. First up, the under 12 cup final that featured Linfield, who have dropped us to two points all season in the league. And they faced Loco, who came into the game as firm underdogs. Who would come out on top? Well, let's find out.
So it wasn't to be for the Armagh side with the pre-match favourites Linfield completing a League and Cup double over their opponents. The trophies on the day were presented by the NIBFA officials Jim Weir and Jerry Ward. After the match we spoke to both managers on their views of the game. First up was Linfield boss Scott Boyd followed by Noel Willis of Loch All Youth. Today marked a great, great achievement for my young bunch of boys. Um, Northern Cup champions. Uh, all credit to Loch Gaul. Um, Any time we played them this season, they've been a fantastic opponent, as, were, as they were today. Um, I'm so pleased for them. Uh, this is how you know players develop, but they also have to have to learn to win. You know, and as I say, it's their credit, their credit to work with. I'm just, I'm just over the moon uh, to be standing here as a champion, Northern Ireland champion, and fair play to them on Loch Gaul. It's difficult conditions, but they're as proud of the effort the Loch Gaul lads put in too. Put a good effort in to get to reach the final and uh, just club we've a short on the day but beat be a good team and uh, the, the, the lock all lost plenty to look forward to in the future as well. Well done Linfield. Now to the under 15 final between Cliftonville and Linfield. Both these sides have enjoyed a goal fest en route to the final with the wee Reds scoring a total of 18 and conceding only two and their opponents not to be outdone scoring a remarkable 20 and they've let in only one. Will we see another feast of goals, or will the defenders stand up to the test? Let's find out. Hey, hey, come on! Get round up! Hold it! 
Don't let him turn. Go, 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 go,
Well, an exciting end to a well-contested game and the Cup goes home with the Wee Reds. After the game, we caught up with Cliftonville manager Glenn Lochlands and Simon Lawson of Linfield. Yeah, obviously pleased to get the win. Not a nice way for Linfield to lose. Um, overall, I think we deserve to win the game. I think our boys showed more character. 2-0 down, came back. Um, did what needed to be done, you know. Hit the woodwork a couple of times. But I have to say, credit to both teams in conditions like that. They tried to play football as much as they could. It was a game of two halves, I suppose, with the wind. The wire was a factor, which it always is in this country. But in the first half, I got you know, one nil, and then got the lead, and then it was always going to be backs against the wall. We talked about it at half time. The players knew it was going to be difficult. Give away the two goals and get back the two each. And it was a good contest. And then extra time, it sort of fizzled out a bit. But you know, I thought we played as well as we could expect at the first half. We got the goals, and it's just disappointing to, to, to lose the other two goals to get back the two each. And then and penalties is a lottery. And to prefer the kids with no pressure, just want them to go and relax and try and take the penalties. And, and penalties has to be a loser, it's just a pity this time it was us, but credit to Cliftonville, you know, that, that coming back from 2-0 down is not easy done. For our next game, we feature the first of the NIBFA's under-11 matches played in a nine-a-side format. Teams playing at this age group and under compete each week in various leagues in Northern Ireland under the control of the IFA Grassroots Development Programme. Don Boscos play in the Darien District Youth League, whilst their opponents Cliftonville play each week in the Belfast Games Development Centre. Both were competing for the NRBFA Plate Trophy.
get Jack. Gotta get Jack. Excellent game and performance from both sides in what was extremely difficult weather conditions. Don Bosco's manager, Ryan McCready, and Cliftonville boss, Chris Watson, gave us their views after the game. Uh, we just played, it was just very, very difficult conditions to play in. I think we just got the breaks at the, the proper time. So the, the one played a big part on it, we just got our, our shots off and luckily we just, the goals went down. Uh, the game was all right, you know, it's, it's difficult conditions, you know, the wind being a factor, but no excuses, fair play to Bosco's, you know, they played well, lots of good wee players. Um, I wish we could have had it on a better day, but that's the way football goes. Now to the under-13 final between Cliftonville and the Gannon Youth. Both teams lying mid-table in the National League in their age group, although both have got through to the final with impressive performances. Dungannon have only conceded one goal whilst their opponents have scored an impressive 22 with Epic Sports TV Goal of the Month contenders last month, Paul McAdory and Nathan Heath in their lineup. So did tactics play an important part in the outcome of this match? Let's find out. Not 
So it was the goal-scoring exploits of Paul McAdory that again proved decisive for Cliftonville as they lifted the trophy after the slender win for the Belfast side. Epic TV spoke to Cliftonville manager Mickey Donnelly and Dungannon youth Stevie Hughes. I know it's obviously the day of the conditions. I think um, both teams, Dungannon and ourselves, it was important much football played. 
and just proves it in the end. It was a sad piece that they said it. Um, they said it, the, the team that won. Yes, it was a game of two halves, and we didn't make uh, good use of the advantage by being the first half. But it was always going to come down to a set play, maybe a free kick or a, a corner. And lucky enough, Cliftonville got it later on there, but uh, we can have no grapes. On to the under-16 final that pitted Linfield with Dungan and Swiss. Linfield have played their opponents twice this season in the National League, winning both matches. But Dungannon come into this game off the back of an impressive semi-final win over the South Belfast Big Two rivals, Glen Torin. Could they take the cup back to Stangmore Park?
I'm sure you'll agree it was an exciting end to the game. It's a pity though someone had to lose that way, but well done to both sets of players. Afterwards, we spoke to a delighted Dungannon Swiss manager, Stephen Thompson. It was a terrific game of football. I thought uh, it's unlucky for the team to lose in penalties. I thought Linfield came really into the game the second half. Conditions were poor, but I thought both teams gave a good account of themselves. It's a good way to end the season after winning the champion, after winning the league last year. A couple of guys here signed for one for the goalkeeper's going to Tottenham, midfield player captain, he's going to South United. So it's a good way to finish the season for the two guys to get winners' medals. Windmill Stars and Oxford Sunny Side met in the Under 11 Cup final, two of the best sides in this age group within Northern Ireland. Although the IFA Grassroots Development Programme does not have a league table format where teams play for points, this is an opportunity for the teams at this age group to get some recognition in terms of the progress that they've made throughout the programme. Both teams play in the Daily Mirror Lisburn Junior Invitational League.
Well, another great game at this level with Oxford Sunnyside just proving too strong on this occasion. Credit must go to both sets of players and coaches for putting on a thoroughly entertaining game in such windy conditions. Windmill Stars Damien Hillen and Oxford Sunnyside's Kieran O'Kee and the managers spoke to us Epic TV after the final. Yeah, it was certainly a day where the conditions were going to dictate very much the, the play and the, and, the, and the game itself. Um, we played with the win in the first half. It was very important that we took advantage of that there and uh, give ourselves some to defend the second half. I mean, I, I can't disagree with anything that, that he said. In fairness, I, I, I do think uh, Sunnyside edged it in terms of the performance on the day. They took their chances. Um, we always felt that uh, at 2 0 down at half time, we, we, we'd fancy ourselves to score some goals, um, at least two in, in the second half. I think the turning point for us would be uh, our main sort of player would be I mean, number six. He plays up front for us, and um, he went off. He, he, he sort of the, one, just just went wide of the post uh, with uh, two minutes into the second half. And I think if that one had gone in and he'd stayed on the pitch, it would have been an interesting 22, 23 minutes. Although playing in a league below their opponents, Limavady Youth came into the under 14 final full of confidence, having just secured an emphatic win just last week over the top team in their division. Surprisingly, this is the only Glentoran team representing the East Belfast club in this year's finals. Could they secure the win and bring some silverware back to the Oval this season? Let's find out. Thank 
Pull back, pull back. Left back and right back. Good. Referee, referee. Despite the blustery conditions, the East Belfast side's overall performance and clinical finishing proved just too good for the League B side. Afterwards, we grabbed the word with Glen Torren manager David Lowry and Limavati Yus, Gary McMullen. We're proud of the boys away to get to the final, but on the day, Glen Torren was just a bit better. We're dis disappointed maybe in some of the performances, but to get to the final, done, the boys did very, very well, and they just made a good Glen Torren team on the day. Pleased, obviously, to win the, the trophy and get the, win, the, win the match at the end, but obviously the, the conditions were horrendous. The concluding game of the day saw Ardon Youth Club from the South Belfast Premier Youth League face NIBFA National League side Linfield in what promised to be an epic under-17 encounter. Ardoin were unbeaten all season, having won 23 of their 26 matches, and they had drawn the remaining three, whilst their counterparts Linfield had lost just once and conceded only 16 goals along the way, and none on their way to this final.
So in the end, Linfield just too strong and afterwards we spoke with Blues boss Bram McCarroll and Ardoin's Thomas Turley. Um, I thought it was very nervy uh, from both sides today, uh, especially first half, uh, getting used playing in a cup final is, is typically nervy. Uh, the conditions didn't help with a really strong win, uh, but I thought it was a good competitive clean game uh, from both teams. Uh, I thought Ardoin put up a really good fight against us. Um, maybe the win in the second half just just helped us get over the line, you know. But I thought it was a it wasn't a really good game for the purest. But overall, we're just glad to get the result. It's all about sort of trying to get the result in a final. But did Miguel responded after conceding an early goal and uh, you know coming up against the quality say like Glenfield, it was always going to be tough today. Um, and as it was pointed out already, the Weller was played a big part in the game. Um, you know the wind's really strong here, and it, it was up against the boys. But you know the battled hard, and 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 the, the cab trying to keep themselves in the game, and, and just unfortunately at the end it wasn't for us, and 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 Linfield got a good win. Well, there you have it. Some great action and some excellent goals. And talking of goals, should you wish to relive them, you can visit our website where you can order our DVD of today's program. There's also a special rate should you wish to order 15 or more copies. Now all is left for me to do is to congratulate all the new NIBFA Cup finalists. 
the runners-up, the champions, the managers, the officials, everyone involved. Until next season, see you then.